Hey, today we're making an easy hummingbird feeder hanger. It's a feeder hook and ant moat. Chemical free, it's real simple. All you need is a wire hanger, the lid off of a spray paint can, a pocket lighter, hot glue gun, and a pair of wire cars. That's all you need, it's pretty simple. And if you're like me and you love hummingbirds, having a bird feeder out is a great way to obviously keep them around. And as you may know, if you have hummingbirds, there is a good chance that you could create a little habitat for other animals maybe you didn't mean to, like ants. Now don't get me wrong, I love all animals, and ants have their place in the ecosystem, unlike human beings. We just don't want them on our bird feeder. Now the reason I know how to do this is because this is what my mother used to keep ants off of her bird feeder. And they do actually have ant moats at the store, but I noticed they have pesticides. And honestly, I'd rather use water than pesticides on my bird feeder. Any old wire hanger will do. If you're the type that doesn't have wire hangers, well all you need is a thick piece of wire and it will work just the same. And then you need to cap off of a spray paint can. See a little moat in there? We'll need that. I'll explain later why. And a pair of wire cutters and um, hot glue gun. It does get hot. Make sure not to burn yourself. Speaking of, you need a pocket lighter. Nothing drastic. Simple little lighter. We just need to heat up the wire to poke through the cap. So what we do here is cut the bottom part off of the hanger. Now you can go all the way up top, right up here, straighten it out and just have a longer uh, wire, a longer feed, but I'm just cutting the bottom off right here. And then, now I'm just I'm doing the best I can. I'm a one-one production, people. This is the best I can do by myself, holding the camera and trying to explain how to do this. So, so I will show you something first. Look at this lighter. You go, squirrel. I mean, that's the cutest thing ever. I just had to show that to you. Okay, so anyway, we're going to use the lighter. Heat up the wire to poke through the cap. Now, the cap here, there's like a little, what I said, a moat. It's like a cap within a cap is what it looks like. Because we're going to be going through the center. So just warm up the wire with the uh, lighter and poke it through the best you can. And if that does not work, you can use the um, hot glue gun to make a hole. It just usually makes too big of a hole, but this is how I make it work most of the time. So anyway, you pull it halfway through, that way we have room on either side to make a hook. Now, the thing is, as long as you keep it filled with water, if it does leak, it won't leak out completely because of that little moat on the inside. So even if it leaks around where the wire is at, it still won't leak completely out of the cup. So you have a little bit of a barrier there. Now this is where the hot glue comes into play. The reason I use hot glue is because obviously it dries quick, it can go on and hang it out there really quickly. This is mostly to keep the cap from sliding and to make sure we don't have any leaks. Now we are almost done. We should have room on either side to create a hook and that way we can hang it on something and hang our feeder off of it. And once again, I'm struggling trying to make a curl for a hook on one end with one hand. <laughs> Realize this is not working. But anyway, when you're done, you should have a hanger and ant moat and you can hang out your bird feeder and watch your hummingbirds enjoy. So if you're like me, wondering what I'm gonna do with all these wire hangers or how I ended up with them, now you have a use. You always have a use for something. I just think they're neat. Thank you very much for watching. I hope this helps and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you, bye.